today we will see how we can protect our circuit from high voltage spikes using metal oxide barrister and a fuse first of all going with the definition of barrister a barrister is a electronics component with a electrical resistance that varies with the applied voltage. From this image, we will see how the resistance of MOB varies with the applied voltage across it. We can see the inverse relationship between the applied voltage and the resistance, which means to say that as the applied voltage increases, the internal resistance of MOB decreases. Let us consider any reference point A in the graph. At this point A, the voltage applied across MOB is very small and the internal resistance of MOB is maximum. Now, as we increase the voltage across the MOB and reach another reference point B, at this point B, the applied voltage is maximum and the resistance is minimum. Now we will see how we can connect MOB in our circuit. One thing we must be always clear about is MOB is connected in parallel with the device that is to be protected as similar to this trigger. Let us assume that we are using MOB of 250 volt. Then if the supply voltage is less than 250 volt, MOB will have high resistance and there will be no current flowing through the MOB. At that time, all the current will be flowing through the device. But once the supply voltage is more than 250 volt, the resistance of MOB decreases and the current starts flowing through our MOB. Due to low resistance, high current flows through our MOB. Due to this high current, the fuse connected to the series of our device will blow and blocks the path of our current flow. So, in this way, our device can be protected during high voltage spikes. Sometimes, when we connect our appliances with AC source, we may receive these types of unwanted high voltage spike due to some technical issues. These types of spikes remain for a short period of time, but it may cause huge damage in our circuit. So, we use MOB in our circuit. Once this voltage spike arise in a circuit, the resistance of MOB decreases and the current starts flowing through our MOB and our circuit will be protected. Let us assume that we are using MOB of 250 volt and we received a sudden high voltage spike of 400 volt, decreasing slowly back to its initial state. Here MOB starts conducting once the voltage across the MOB reaches 250 volt. This helps to limit the maximum voltage across the device to be 250 volt. Our MOB will be heated in the proportion to this area. As larger the area, MOB must dissipate more heat. This means to say that as longer we receive the high voltage spike, for that much time current flows through MOB and when the last current flows for a long period of time, our MOB will be heated more and even damaged. So, if you are designing any circuit, it is mandatory to use fuse and MOB for the protection of your circuit from high voltage spike.